Empty halls, parking lots, and buildings are the new norm for the fall semester here at CSUSM. More than 90% of nearly 15,000 students enrolled here will be participating in a mostly online semester. In the 30-year history of the institution, this is the first. The CSU Chancellor made the decision on May 12th for all 23 CSU campuses to remain mostly online for the fall semester. The CSU system was among the first group of public universities to make this decision, with many public universities around the nation following soon after. In the age of technology, the concept of virtual instruction is attainable and realistic. Although members of the campus community are limited in access to campus, there are an abundance of resources available for students. Students looking for help with technology, IITS is just a call away. Loaner laptops, webcams, and hotspots are all available for pickup by appointment. In addition, the USU ballroom has been converted into a computer lab. The lab has 30 desktops, 20 spaces for power hookups, and plenty of Wi-Fi available. Yeah. Workspaces are sanitized after each use to ensure the safety of our students. As of now, they are only open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, and it is on a first-come, first-served basis. Campus officials are urging students to only come to campus for technology support if they are living on campus or if they are taking a traditional course. Traditionally, it has been required for first-year students living outside the service area to live in either the UZA or the Quad. The campus has done away with this requirement due to safety measures amid the pandemic. Although the university does have room to house about 1,500 students, only 250 students will be living on campus this semester. Because of the limited spacing, housing has been prioritized for those taking a traditional course for the semester. In addition, all on-campus dining will be closed for the semester. There is a food pickup service available for those living on campus for a fee. All vending machines will remain functional. It's clear this semester will look a little different here at Cal State San Marcos, but I'm confident our campus community will make it through these tough times. Reporting from San Marcos, California, I'm Bailey Heffernan. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel or head on over to our website, csusmchronicle.com, for our latest stories. And if you'd like to support us in our mission of educating and empowering the next generation of journalists, um, please consider donating or advertising with us at csusmchronicle.com advertise or csusmchronicle.com donate. Thank you.